And when I'm not here at Trinity Church in Asbury Park, New Jersey, it usually means I'm off somewhere working at my day job, which is being the national correspondent for the Episcopal News Service. Right now I'm with Presiding Bishop Catherine Jefford Shorey as she makes her pastoral visit to the Episcopal Church of Haiti. This diocese is the largest of the 110 in the Episcopal Church, and it's one of 12 Episcopal dioceses located outside of the United States. Sauf le péché, annonçant aux pauvres la bonne nouvelle du salut, aux captifs la délivrance, aux affligés la joie. Pour accomplir ce dessein de ton amour, il s'est livré lui-même à la mort. Et ressuscité des morts, il a détruit la mort et renouvelé la création tout entière. The Diocese of Haiti is based in Port-au-Prince, where more than two million of the country's eight and a half million people live. Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. Eighty percent of the people live on less than two dollars a day. One third of children are malnourished. The life expectancy of a Haitian is between 50 and 56 years. Fifty-five percent of the population is illiterate, and more than 500,000 of its children can't go to school. Haitian President René Préval told Presiding Bishop Catherine that years of what he called stability by dictatorship, as well as a history of government corruption, have hurt the Haitian people. On top of Haiti's already precarious status, U.S. Ambassador Janet Sanderson said, the four storms that recently swept Haiti from mid-August to mid-September were like Hurricane Katrina ten times over. The Diocese of Haiti responds to this dire situation in the country, first of all, through education. This has been a tradition of the diocese since its founding nearly 150 years ago. Today, the diocese runs 254 schools, educating more than 80,000 Haitians, ranging from preschool children to adults in university. Their schools include a trade school, a business and technology community college, a seminary, and a nursing school that in January 2009 will award the first baccalaureate degrees in nursing in the country's history. The school history. is the first uh, baccalaureate nursing school in Haiti. We have four years. We have 127 students. Among them, we have 20 guys. That's the first in Haiti, the guys of the nursing school. We're very proud to say that we're going to graduate the first class January 10th. We're here to we focus on education on leadership because that's what Haiti needs and that's what we're giving to Haiti. And our logo is we are the difference and we certainly are the difference. Episcopal Relief and Development this year in 2008 has invested nearly $800,000 in the mission and ministry of the Diocese of Haiti. The programs they've helped support include school canteen programs in which Young children especially are assured of getting a meal when they come to school. And they've invested in a number of agricultural products, including such things as pig raising operations, rabbit breeding operations, and a small project in which they helped a group of farmers buy their own plow. 
and kind of on a diocesan level, there's large programs such as microcredit, which mm -hmm. also gets and there's also the school canteen program. The Petit Projects was an idea that we kind of just tried for the first time. Mm -hmm for the first time last year, and that is projects and to utilize and, and to resource um, ideas that come from the peasants. I did. Right. And that we then facilitate through the development agents mm -hmm. who are lay members of the church yeah. to help them, to help the peasants manage the programs. And so it's lots of things. Since the food security, the food uh, price crisis, we've been emphasizing uh, agriculture, right. things that help people to generate income in that area. So this is one, one example of it. The Our brothers and sisters in the Episcopal Diocese of Haiti accomplished their mission and ministry among their neighbors with a surprisingly small amount of resources, but an amazingly huge sense of entrepreneurial leadership and guidance from the Holy Spirit. Jérusalem, Jérusalem, écoute enfin 